What is up guys, it is Zach Ploche. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to build a simple command line tool in Python. So let's get into it. We're going to be opening up our script here. And um, the first thing we're going to do is import sys, which is a built-in uh, Python module. Uh, so you don't have to import anything, it's already in your system. And um, with this, we're going to define two functions. We're gonna say one, say hi, and all this is going to do or all, yeah, all this is going to do is print hi, of course. Um, you know what, let's add an exclamation point. There we go, okay. And the second one is gonna say add these, which is essentially just an add function. So we're just gonna say print x plus y. And um, yeah, so that's cool. Uh, so we have these. Now let's explore what this, or why we need this sys uh, module here, or is it a module? Let's see. Print type sys. So let's see what this is. So when we run it, yeah, it's a module. OK, so let's see what happens whenever. Um, let's see how to use this sys module. Uh, so uh, typically, when I'm using this to build some kind of a command line interface for my Python file or for some Python, some functionality that I have in Python, um, you want to see how to access different arguments whenever you're passing in a command. So if you've worked with Django, you might see something like pi manage.py uh, run server or make migrations or whatever. And it does different stuff depending on what you input. Uh, so we're going to build something that is roughly the same, except we're going to run it out of main.py instead of manage. Uh, so uh, let's see what this sys argv thing is, because um, this is very important. So we're just going to print this result. And um, they'll see what it is. So we're going to say now pi main.py and just press enter. Uh, so as you can see, sysargv, um, it shows us main.py. Now, where did that come from? Whenever we run main.py, um, it actually came from right here because this is always the first argument whenever you're running a Python file from command line. And um, of course, if you're on Mac or whatever, um, like Mac or Linux, you can also say main. like uh, you'll run it like this, say Python or Python 3, and uh, it should do, okay, yeah, so Python main.py. Yeah, on Windows, it's just Python or Py. Um, so uh, that is the first argument after Python. So let's try something else. We're going to say Python main.py and then say hello. Okay, so now we added one more. Let's add a few more just to show you what this sysargv thing is, is um, essentially, or what it contains. So hello, and then one, two, three, four, and five with spaces in between. So yeah, so this is just an argument list of every single thing you say after Python when you're running this Python file. Um, and uh, because of that, and because we know that the first argument is always going to be this main.py, um, what we can do is say here, we're going to say args equals uh, sys.argv and then slice forward from one. Uh, so what this does is uh, it skips the first item and basically creates a list of the remaining items in this um, in this list. So uh, that way we don't we can only work with the stuff we want and we don't have to work with main.py here. Uh, so let's do the next part. Um, next we're going to say. OK, so now that we have our args and we know that everything in here is a string, we can safely move forward. So the first thing we can do, and uh, how I actually normally build this, is I put this in a if name is equal to main. That way we have um, this only activates whenever uh, we're not importing it. So it only happens whenever we call it or run it as a Python file. Uh, so we take these arguments and then we can start to do stuff. So let's say um, we want, like the way we want this to work is to say pi and then whatever our file name is, and then say something like uh, say hi. So say hi, or like say the first thing we want to put in is the function name. So what we can do is now we can say function name. Uh, and actually we can even check if they put in anything at all. So uh, if args, which is the same as saying if args um, 
does not equal none or um or no no, no sorry uh it's essentially saying if args exist. So like if bool args. So that's pretty much the same thing. Um, so if there's anything inside of args, do something else. Whoop, else print no argument was provided. And uh, here, we're just going to skip it. So that's basically the same as pass. Uh, so args, if args, and then um, actually, you know what? If there are args, we're going to print what they are. So print args. All righty. So let's see what happens when we run this. We're going to say pi main.py, and we're not going to pass in anything. Uh, yeah, we're not going to pass in anything here. So yeah, no arguments were provided. OK, and let's try uh, here. So let's run it. And then pi main dot pi say hi. Nice. Okay, so we pass in an argument. Pi main dot pi say hi. One two three four five six. All right. Nice. So um, we're able to get our arguments, and it's not showing us main dot pi or the name of our file, so we don't have to think about that. Um, so. Now that you have this, you can essentially build your logic into if statements. And this is, um, yeah, and the key word to this is simplicity. <laughs> so there are more complicated ones, like uh, packages like uh, arg parse is one of them that uh, I tried to learn, but it would take a lot of time to do what I wanted to do. So for more like, I guess, like a simple version of complex functionality, um, this is pretty much good enough. So you can just, because these are just items in a list, you can pretty much grab them. So if the first argument, uh, or like, so if you know what the first argument should typically be, uh, then you can give this a, um, uh, essentially like a, assign it to a variable and have a usable name for it. So for example, I know that I want the first argument to be function name. Um, so what I can do is if function name is equal to, let's say, okay, so I have two functions here, say hi and add these. And if I uh, say, say hi dot name. So this is a special um, attribute of Python functions that allow you to, uh, it essentially translates the function into its own like name. So it'll just be, if you call it say hi, say underscore hi, it'll just be say underscore hi, but um, with a string around it. Um, for example, if I say define my func, and then I just say uh, my func double underscore name, it says my func there. So we're going to check for this. And then if function name is equal to say hi, we're just going to say hi. And then we're going to have another one where we're going to say if function name is equal to um, add these. So add these dot name. We're going to say, um, what are we going to say here? Mm, yeah, so we're going to say add these. And then um, the only thing about this is that we need two extra variables here. So uh, what we can do is say, mm, First, we're going to check if there are two extra arguments in here. So there should be three in total in order to get this to work. So if not len args is equal to three. So if that's not the case, um, we're going to say print. Um, you either provided too many or not enough arguments to use this function. Nice. So now we have that. And then after that part, um, we're just going to say else, like so. Then we can add these. So we can say um, x is equal to args 1 y is equal to args 2. Or if you want to shorten this, you can write it like this. x 
or uh, let's see. Yeah, x, y is equal to args one, args two, like so. Then we can just use our function like that. So yeah, so there's two pieces of functionality here. One on one hand, we can say hi. On the other, we can add these things together. So we're going to say, try this now. So pi main dot pi, and then say um, say hi. Hi, yeah, so that worked. Uh, so let's say pi main dot pi. Um, uh, yeah, add these. Boom, yeah, so it's telling us you either provided too many or not enough arguments to use this function, which is absolutely true. Now, you can document this better, and you can even build a whole bunch of much easier to use uh, like if statements than this, or much more specific, I should say. Um, but this is what I'm using right now. And um, now it's actually not completely done because uh, there's another part that we want to think about. So I'm going to say pi main.py, and then I'm going to say um, add these, and then I'm going to actually provide arguments. So one and two. So uh, add these one and two ended up equaling 12. Now, uh, that is not what we're actually wanting. And the reason that happened, of course, if you remember, is that these are uh, every single argument that is passed in is by default a string. So if we want this to not be a string, we need to call int around these items, like so. And now those should be integers. So let's see, we're going to say pi main.py add these one and two. Yeah, and now it equals three. Now, this can be a problem if you're trying to say one and two, um, or if you're trying to say, um, like if you add something else accidentally, like a and two. Yeah, so invalid, so it gives us an error. And then, uh, I mean, essentially it works because it's not what we're wanting, but um, the message might not be very clear. Invalid literal for int with base 10. Um, okay, so that's not a very good like message. So let's say try this and then accept. And uh, we see that this gave us a value error and that happened because we tried to turn like the letter a into an integer, which a is not an integer. So we can we can say accept value error, or you can just say accept. Either one works. Um, and then say print um, one of the arguments provided wasn't wasn't a number. I'm curious if you can add emojis here. Uh, let's see. All right, yeah, so let's see if this works. Uh, so pi main dot pi, um, add these, a two. All right, yeah, so you can add emojis. Um, nice. So yeah, that is an extremely simple script, um, a simple version of how to build command line tools with Python. So you can add much more complex functionality. And as you continue to grow in your Python skills, you'll be able to build a lot more cool stuff and have access to these simple commands. Uh, now, there's a lot of things I could cover on this and how to make these, how to build just really epic command line tools. Um, and there's even some stuff that I haven't learned yet, but I would like to. So if you have any questions or any specifics that you're looking for in this, I would love to help. And um, yeah, also this video is not going to be edited or anything because my editor got COVID, but it will have a nice thumbnail. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the content, subscribe and bye for now.